Hello everybody, I've just received my um, Ninja Air Fryer, the AF300 UK from um, Vary. Just going to give you a quick dimension in the box. 18 inches wide, the box is 16 inches high, depth is 41 inches. Right, now we're going to crack this open. Uh, got my kitchen knife out. Um, Incidentally, if you join up with Vary, you will get a 20% discount code for your first order. Uh, this was in a sale, it's $149.99. Uh, with your 20% discount, you get it down to around 130. So here's the outside box, let's get rid of that. Hang on, I'm gonna have to chuck this on the floor. There we go. One Ninja Air Fryer. Very well boxed up. Let's see, right, put it on the kitchen room surface. Let's put it over. Right, here we are. Let's get rid of the box. Right, it's a Ninja Dual Zone 6.7.6 .6 litre air fryer. I will do dimensions once I've opened it. I'm not sure the weight of it. We'll soon find out. We can get it out of the box. I ain't got much space to play with here. Let me pull that front pin. Right, that's the first one we get. Blank envelope. Let's see what we got in here. Ninja dual, dual zone. Quick start guide. So what we got in there? Uh, right, potatoes. Yep. Right, tells you how to cook it. Incidentally, this is dual zone. If you put two items in at the same time, at different times, it will cook at the same time. Get a bit of uh, that for recycling. Right, then we get this bit of paper. We take these card inserts out first. Quite a few, look like impact bumpers on the box. And go over there. Let's put this down on the floor so we can lift this box. Oh, very shiny on top. I like that chrome finish. Right, this is the hardest bit. There we go. Hang on. I'll just get rid of another box. My bin men's not going to be happy with me this week. Right, so there it is. Nice and shiny. Oh, hang on, you get this sticky tape on the side. Hopefully it won't damage the paintwork. Which it looks like there is some residue on there. Let's get that off. A couple of inserts. Oh yeah, we should try that came out easy enough. Put this one out. Another card insert, another non-stick tray. Uh, from what I read up, you've got to wash these first before you use them. Let's switch it on. Then I'll do the dimensions. Doesn't take up. I know people say they're huge, but it is big, but it's not depth wise, it's not too bad. Right, how do I fire this up? Yep. There you go, all fired up, works all right. Let's get my tape measure back out, which is uh, over in the corner. Bear with me, folks. Right, so dimensions of this, if anybody's interested. Uh, it's. 15 inches height from the floor it looks about one foot 12 inches height from the work surface sorry depth wise i'm going to push it right again okay, right back against here i'm going to do it from the wall from the handle i'm going to do it from the handle and this is just going to be a kind of guesstimate which is about 13 inches with the handle sticking out Without the handle sticking out, you're looking at around 11 inches. So there we have it folks, very nice, very compact. I like that chrome piece around it. I would have put my tea, coffee and sugar on the top, but there's no room on top because it's not a lot of gap. In fact, I will measure it from that to the kitchen unit, which is three and a half inches. But if you never had this piece, you're looking at six inches. 
if you need to put anything on less than six inches that's it i'm gonna wrap this up folks uh let me know in the comments uh whether you want me to uh do something with it in the next few months after i've used it i'm gonna go wash it up now and put some chicken in it thank you very much see you in the next one